and as you know that we all have one villain in our life ek villain to hota hi hai apne life mein so why not uh, you just give us this knowledge that how to forgive who have hurt us mm. <laughs> we all have that villain in our life right or so we call them because sometimes it's a perception that they are villains sometimes the reality that they are villains we all have that person in us in our stories we all have that one person in our stories who matlab bhagwan ne aisa tailor me ek bana ke apne liye bheja hai matlab aisa cut karke bheja hai tere liye bheja hai maine is tu shanti se nahi tujhe purify karne ke liye bheja just to purify you of all of this sent you that person everybody has that one person in their lives just one taste that i want to give you just one thing so much can be said on that topic like i said it's a whole discussion in itself but when you forgive someone that's not necessarily for them when you forgive someone that is for you for your peace so that you come to peace with things kshama karna unke kabhi sometimes what they do doesn't even deserve forgiveness you know what i say often forgive or not forgive is a very individual choice you want to live in peace however it is imperative that we let go of what we have held in our minds and we pent up in our minds because small or less this phone may be what 200 grams 300 grams if i hold this phone on my palm it's going to hurt me a little bit for a while if i here hold it for 2 hours it's going to hurt my wrist a lot if i hold it for an entire day it's going to start numbing my wrist if i hold it for an entire week without putting it down it's going to paralyze my wrist it's not what you hold and how long you hold it's not what you hold and how heavy it is but so how long we hold it so to keep down that phone is some compassion to my own wrist not to the phone so what i hold for somebody is like that phone it's not so much for them it's for my own peace it's for my own my own coming to terms with my own joy you know and and forgiveness doesn't necessarily mean forgetting it we've always been told forgive and forget forgive and forget forgive and forget no you know what when we are talking about forgiving and forgetting forgiving is about stopping that person that person's actions that person what that person's doing to influence how we feel now memories are not going to be easily erased memories of what people have done to us do you think memories can be easily erased you know what when i take a, am i okay to take a picture of you all of you guys mai dalunga instagram pe story बोले प्रभु जी प्लीज मैं फ्रंट में आके बैठू क्या पिक्चर करेक्ट दिख रहा है सबको थोड़ा तो दिख ही रहा हो मैं फाइव ऑन डिलीट दिस पिक्चर गया स्टोरी फोरी फागल है आप लोग <laughs> गया राइट इट्स गॉन and now if i go to my trash in this and delete it it's permanently deleted from the memory correct but that's because this is a phone any impression that is made on the sim card or on the memory of this phone in sanskrit is called a samskar samskar means an impression that is made on something it goes through this lens and leaves an impression on there but these impressions are very easy to delete at the press of a delete button is got from your memories guess what ladies and gentlemen in our life through what we read hear what happens to us so a lot of samskars happening on this memory here and they are not easy to delete so i'm not even that's why i said i'm not even asking you to delete them you need to be so elevated spiritually to be able to just go leave it all behind we are not we are people living in the real world nahi jayega aasani se so when we say forgive 
we are saying don't allow that person now to control your peace let go but we are also simultaneously saying that there is going to be that side and every single time you see that person imagine an abuser coming in front of those persons who's abused that memory would trigger everything back again right everything back again and that's precisely why during the course of my talk i had said forgiveness saying a sorry it doesn't happen we have to make it happen by shifting our attention elsewhere a i'll stay away from my triggers which trigger that memory but if that memory does come to me and i feel angry i feel hurt i feel everything coming to me i'll be compassionate to my own self and say it's okay it's okay be compassionate to yourselves compassion is not just meant for others so be self compassionate if you feel anger you feel anger if you feel hurt you feel hurt if you go through what you go through you go through you go through don't stay there because it's ruining your life 